I'm Aaron Taylor. Penn State week, not so good. Georgia Tech the week before, not so good. But alas, football is one of those things where you always have another opportunity. And this week's opportunity is going to be against the University of Michigan up in the big house. So, Rick, we've seen an offense that went two for 16 on third downs. It only had 144 yards of total offense that had zero rushing game. They've given up a lot of sacks and pressure. What does Notre Dame need to do before the Michigan game to go out there on Saturday and look good and come out victorious? Well, they need to be able to move the ball a little bit better on offense. Uh, they d did a nice job of avoiding turnovers, but you you know need to find a way to get it to the tight end, Carlson, a little bit more. He's a guy that's been there, and he's played a lot. and. Uh, distribute the ball to receivers and just everything they're doing on offense is, is just a little less than acceptable. You didn't need to be able to rush the ball and avoid those 10, 12, you know, yard losses with sacks that are just putting them in tough spots on third down and uh, get the ball in the end zone. It's time to score a touchdown. And, and that's one of the things, as you mentioned, the sacks that goes on as a young guy, as a quarterback starting out there, I would have to think that it would be very, uh, not very good for the confidence every time you drop back, have somebody in your face, and knowing that you can't hand the ball off and take some of the pressure off the pass game. Yeah, there weren't a lot of easy plays where you just get it out, throw a nice completion, get 10 yards, first down, move the chains. It wasn't that simple. You need some more of those plays. Uh, find, you know, find what Jimmy Clausen likes to do and feels comfortable doing and maybe just focus on that. Now, one of the things that offense or defenses usually do is once they notice that a team is susceptible, something like Notre Dame has shown that they can't pick up the pass, they can't pick up the blitz, Georgia Tech did it, Penn State's going to do it, I would almost guarantee that Michigan's going to do it. And until Notre Dame stops that, until they can prove that they can pick up the pass and the blitz, I would think that they're going to come after them. What can Notre Dame do to alleviate some of that pressure? Well, it's going to be tough. I mean, Michigan's in a tough spot right now, too, you know, after their first few games. And uh, you got to expect you're going to get blitzed because we haven't proven we can stop stop that. And uh, they're going to have to find the simple plays. I know they try to run some screens and, and swing stuff to get some easy completions, but uh, we're going to need to do a little bit more down the field to, to defeat the blitz and expose the defense when they do give you a big shot. Well, they say cliches are cliches because they're true. In football, it's no more uh, obvious than that. Notre Dame's got to be able to protect the football, protect the passer, run, create uh, opportunities downfield, eliminate the turnovers. If they do that, the number one and number two teams in college football, Michigan and Notre Dame, the two winningest programs, the two programs that have the most All-Americans, the two programs that have been on TV the most are 0-2 at the season. On Sunday, one of them is going to walk out 0-3. That's hard to imagine. Didn't think it happened, but uh, hopefully it's not us. And hopefully it's not going to be us. If we protect the football and do the things that Rick Meyer said, I think we'll be all right. Stay tuned next week when we get back with more legends. We take you up close and personal with the greatest players and coaches ever associated with Irish football.